Hello there, I'm your host, Dan Rojas. It's been a while since I've done an update on the parabolic mirror array. I wanted to give it some time to sit out in the climate and see how the mylar is affected by it. Previous video, I showed you how to build those and I suggested that you put the mylar film with the first surface, the aluminized side on the inside. In actuality, you wanna flip that around. You want the aluminum side out. Believe it or not, the aluminum will actually hold up in, uh, for many years in outdoor climate. If you put the aluminum side in, humidity and condensation forms on the inside, and this actually starts to deteriorate the aluminum. So one quick tip is to put the first surface mirrored side out. So this is one uh, that has sat out for three and a half months. I got a couple holes from just tree branches falling on it. This is the second surface side. So this is the mylar on the outside, and it's a pretty, it's still a good mirror, but you can see that it's, you can kind of see from the side that they are foggy. Now here is the one, it's dirty, so, but this is the first surface and this is the aluminum side out. This right here is the only damage and that was actually like that when I pulled it out of the Mylar blanket. So from a distance, I don't know if, they probably all look the same on camera, yeah they do, but this one right here is better. Another uh, issue that I came across was how to keep a good vacuum with it. Now if you build them perfect, you probably would have one that would hold a vacuum for ever, assuming you did it correctly, but very thin material, it's easy to get a hole in it. The other thing is that as temperatures change, the focal length's gonna expand and contract. So I came up with a very simple solution. If you put a vacuum pump to it, it will suck them all the way down and cause them to implode. So you would need this very elaborate switch system that would go on and off. By simply taking a blower fan, this one's currently hooked to a 12 volt battery, but it does work off of a small 25 to 30 watt solar panel. You hook this up and you just put a piece, uh, I'm just using regular duct tape and you punch some holes in it. You put the tubes in and as the air evacuates from one side, it creates a small vacuum, enough to suck all three of these mylar dishes in to create our parabolic shape. It only pulls 20 watts and you're getting close to 3000 watts from this. So it's a pretty good trade off, especially since you can just use a solar panel and you don't need any complicated setups. Now you're probably gonna notice if you do this, that one is gonna have a little bit more uh, of a concave shape than the other. So they're not gonna line up perfectly depending on how you stretch them. We're doing this very simply and quick. We're not using tension guides or anything like that. So they might have a slightly different focal length, but you can adjust that with a valve, which I will show you in a future video. And I have a trailer here that I built that I'm gonna be mounting seven or eight of them if I get a chance to, and have this be the table that it sits on that tracks the sun. So instead of having each one of these have a heliostat that tracks the sun, we'll just put them on the trailer, it'll do it, and we'll put one sun tracker on here and have a large drive motor, actually not that big of a drive motor, I have a simple, hydraulic system that will turn this and we can follow the sun throughout the day. This is the Parabolic Mirror Array in action. I'm your host, Dan Rojas. Thank you for watching and enjoy our videos. And that is with not even good sun. So we're like 60% sun right now. I wish that big blue patch was there. Instead we have this. Yeah. <laughs> 